Hey, welcome back. Today's the second part of the basics of common core training. So if you saw the first video, this is the second and more in-depth uh, description of what column core training is. So in the body, basically we have two components, the moving workers or the brawn, which is the arms and legs, that's supposed to generate moving force, and the brains of the system, which is your spine from your Adam's apple to your tailbone. So it's a long lever and has lots of moving parts, roughly 20 vertebrae in that, that segment. So there's only two ways we can operate that spine system. We can operate the spine as a moving worker, or what I call survival movement system, and it acts, your spine acts like a chain. So if this is the tailbone, and this is the Adam's apple, if we were doing a bridge, for example, uh, as I start the bridge, the tailbone will come off the ground, and it might be like eight or 10 lengths before we get the middle of the chain off the ground. That's the moving back system. So when we do movement, the spine also moves with the extremities to generate force. So that's one way to move the body. The other way to move the body is to keep that spine fixed like a column so we take those 20 pieces and make it into one piece so if I do a bridge with a column system uh, as I do the bridge all the spine lifts off the, the, the ground in a one-to-one -one relationship that's what I call thrive movement or the non-moving back system so we got survival movement and thrive movement so what I found in having tested more than 2,000 athletes is really this is the default movement system Everybody uses this system as their dominant movement system. So you can generate lots of force with that, but that's where uh, injuries will show up and you'll also have less than a peak performance, even if you're doing great with the survival movement training. So when we're doing this thrive movement, which is a new skill for many athletes, what I found is in testing, the deficits that show up in strength and length in the extremities begin to disappear just by learning how to control the spine as a column. So whether you're doing this hands-on column core training system that I created uh, over the last 20 plus years, or you're using the column core training system of the Kalen core, both will start to teach you how to keep the spine fixed like a one-piece column versus the moving chain system. So if you're suffering from recurring injuries and, and you're doing strength training but you're not getting that solution, your dominant system is likely this, and that would show up as either injury in the spine system or the extremities or both, or and lack of performance and it is corrected once you start to learn this thrive system or a column core training system so that's the the basics of column core training as you get better at this column core skill not only does performance increase but injuries disappear or the risk of getting injury basically becomes non-existent so thanks for letting me share and look forward to seeing you on the next video